Hello YouTube. So next day, next progress. Um, second panel is already done. I respray it. Struggled with this because, like I said before, it was kind of chemical reaction pro problems. Um, so the amount of lacquer is a little bit more than the first panel, and you know the gap which I have to now fill up with the clar is quite big. I will still try to sand it a little bit, but it's nothing where I can do a lot. So we're removing now my favorite part, um, you know, all this uh, masking tapes. Overall, this uh, royal green color, I think, in my opinion, really suits the bike. Um, is it better than the original stock? I wouldn't say so, but it's definitely very interesting color. And I like it more if if someone asks me about my opinion. So today when we remove I try at least um, I remove the tapes and then obviously I have to clean the glue which is staying on that. So this is gonna be like a uh, degreaser, use it after which I use anti-seal 770 or 770, whatever people, people call this one. So I'm gonna use this stuff before I put the, you know, top coating. And I must say this part is no bad at all. Here we go, job done. Obviously I have to see if everything is okay with this one. That's how it come up. The same, exactly like the first panel. And um, <coughs> on that part, when was the originally uh, the white Yamaha? I didn't decide yet, so I don't know if I'm gonna put just the letters like it was before, but not white, obviously. Uh, it's gonna be just black, or maybe just the logo. I all the stickers from eBay. One is like a logo, round one, I think 50 millimeters or 55 millimeters. I have to check, but it's about between five and five and a half uh, centimeters diameter and black letters as a Yamaha sticker so obviously if I put it here all the letters all the logo I still have to put you know the top coating so it's kind of protected as well if I just stick on a panel that will peel off so I have to be very careful what I'm doing this must be very nicely done as well when it's dry put the label or logo a label logo or the letters and basically put all the bike together and let's see how it's gonna turn when it's all the parts like side panels um, subframe on the back a uh, few things i already even the front fender i cut it trim it put the green stripes which i showed you before in the movie and um and as well is uh, is in a matte finish so Hopefully this bike is look really like dark, matte kind of looking all the way when it's standing in a shadow, right? When the sun hits, the whole thing is changed. The, the bike is gonna stay obviously black matte, but this color on the sun is so nice and bright, but not like, you know, techno bright. It's just really cool green deep color. So, job done for this today and hopefully we're gonna end up maybe Wednesday in few th I have to still probably wait three or four days to put all the top coating which is gonna be three or maybe even four layers it depends how big is the gap you say I'm gonna put it dry it send it put it again top coating dry it and use the sandpaper um, and make like a level and again top 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 so 
This is probably gonna take another four days. Beside this, I have to still wait for you know the logo or the letters coming from Yamaha. Mm. And I probably gonna put maybe one or two layers of top coating, you know, the clar matte. After that, I put the sticker, and again going with the um, going with the top coating. So yeah, job done for now. Stay tuned and you will see how the bike gonna look like later on when I'm finished. Take care.